My name is Ash, and today we are exploring character creation. This vid is equipped with all the current options for hair, makeup, and more that you may equip your female or male rider with, as well as options for your background and twin. Players can choose between Sarah and Scott Ryder. If you choose to keep the default names, then companions, crew, and even Ryder will reference the first name on a somewhat regular basis. In constructing your Ryder, you can choose from multiple presets as a base for your Ryder. However, do note that presets will generally dictate certain attributes about your character. For example, eye shape. The different categories to choose from are presets, face, hairstyle, eyes, makeup, and lastly, scars and tattoos. The main differences in options between male and female writers are the hair options and males having facial hair. There is a pre-designated set of colors to choose from for hair, but there are also natural and artificial colors available. Though, makeup does have an RGB wheel. After creating your rider, you will have the ability to customize your twin in the exact same detail as your own rider. The composite of both Ryder and your twin will help determine what your father elk Ryder will look like. However, if the twins look extremely different, you will notice that your father looks closer to your character. As you can see on screen, my Ryder twins look extremely different, and thus Alec Ryder took on more traits from my own personal Ryder. You will also need to choose your Ryder's training background, security, biotic, technician, leader, scrapper, and operative. Feel free to pause this video and take a look at each one. Each specialized training has different skills and powers enabled. While you may think one sounds really cool, my recommendation is to choose what has the best abilities that flow well with your playstyle. Beyond training, the remaining option is for your ability to choose whether you played a female or male shepherd in the original trilogy. That choice is currently the only choice that carries over. Once you are done, if you are connected to the internet, you will have the option of uploading your character data to the Mass Effect archive. This is a replacement of face codes of the original trilogy, and the archive is a way to keep track of your different writers, and even use a former writer as a base for a new one. And that is the entire character creator. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like if this video helped you. Comment if you have any questions whatsoever, and subscribe for more videos on Mass Effect. Until next time, my name is Ash, take care, and welcome to Andromeda.